Hello YouTube, this is OJ Cubing, and welcome back to my basic CFOP tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to go from having the first two layers solved, as you should be able to do from the last video, into then doing two look OLL, which is orientating the last layer so that you have a white, a yellow face on the top, and then of course going into the solved state. So the way that this tutorial is going to work is I am going to show you the algorithms for it and you might want to write them down or something just like I myself have done here. And so I'm going to show you the cases and I'm going to tell you the algorithms. The algorithms will be on screen and also in the description. And then just learn them one by one or two at a time maybe. Basically don't go and rush in to trying to learn these because these will be helpful for the future. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so on with the OLL tutorial. Um, this is called two look because you only have to look at the cube two times in order to do this. And the first time you look at it, you're going to get something like one of these three cases. There is a fourth case, which is just that you've already got the yellow square, but that's okay, we'll just go through this now. So the first case, we have a yellow line. The second case we have a yellow L, well it's an L that looks like that, but we're going to hold it like that. And we're only focusing on the edges and centres. And the third case is we just got a dot. So if we start off with the line, and we're going to do this algorithm, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and that will get us to the yellow cross. If we go to the L, we hold it like this, and we're going to go F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And that'll get us to the cross. And then this one's slightly more complicated, but if you have a dot, so we're going to go R, U, R prime, U, R prime, F, R, F prime u2 r prime f r f prime and that will get us to the cross and that is the first look done and we're going to move on to the second look now so the second look has seven algorithms which you need to remember i know this seems like a lot but if you just tackle them one by one or two at a time then they'll be much simpler than the first looks and so here are two of the cases where we have a yellow cross and none of the corners are yellow. And so there are two types of this. One is this type here where we have headlights at the front and also headlights at the back. So we've got headlights front and back. And the second case is where we have headlights at the front, but we've got two side lights at the back. And so we're going to have a look at this one first. So for this one, we have the headlights facing towards us and away from us. And we're going to go R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And that'll get us to the yellow square. And if, if you guys want tactics on how to speed cube this, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and this with thumb and first finger. Have your second finger here ready to press there your second finger here ready to press for U prime. So we're going to move our hand for the R. Then we can have our second and third fingers going for the U2. Move your hand back down. Move this finger for the U prime. And then going to go up that. Use this finger again. Down. This finger again. And then we're going to use this finger again. And then put it down. Sorry if that seems complicated. But when you get it fast you can do it quite quickly. So for the second case, we're going to want the headlights on our left and we've got one side light looking towards us, one away from us. And we're going to do this algorithm. R, U2 prime. Now I say prime because it's anti-clockwise and that will help later on. R2, U prime. R2, U prime. R2, U2, R. And so the way you speed cube this, I'm going to get back to there. Headlights on the side, going to place thumb on the bottom and third on the top. 
and we're just basically going to move this backwards and forwards and so we're going to move it back like this we're going to have a U2 with that finger then move your whole arm round so that it goes 180 degrees and then U prime whole 180 degrees again U prime 180 again U2 and then move it back to there okay and so we're going to move on to the third and fourth cases so the third case is where we have what looks like a little bit of a fish in fact we've got two of them two little fishes but these two are different we're going to hold them so that the yellow corner is in the top right hand corner and then we've got a light at the front and we've got a light at the side and so this one's going to be called soon with the light at the side and this one's going to be called anti soon with the light facing towards us so we're going to work on soon first of all with the light at the side and we're going to hold it so that the light is in the bottom left and the color is in the top right and we're going to do this algorithm l u l prime u l u2 l prime and so if i just show you how to do it again just faster this time we're basically again going to be moving this with our hands and then we're going to be using this finger for the um use like that and for anti soon where the light is facing towards you again we're going to hold it so that the colored one is in the top right and we're going to do r u2 r prime u prime r u prime r prime and that'll get us up to the yellow face and to show how to speed cube that we're just gonna again move this like this and use well partly this finger here is going to do the u's and this one's going to do the u primes going to go up going to go u2 using the second and third down this finger up this finger no sorry that finger and then down again so it will end up looking like this our fifth and sixth cases in, is what i call the t shape because we got looks like a T on both of these and um, this one we have double headlights pointing towards us and this one we've got two side lights pointing away from each other so we're going to look at the uh, headlights here and we're going to do this algorithm R2 D R prime U2 R D prime R prime U2 R prime and the way we're going to speed cube that is we're going to move this like this, the R2. With the D, we're going to use our fourth finger here. We're going to bring this down. We're going to use these two fingers for the U2. Bring it back up. Use the third finger as a D prime there. Move this back down. These two fingers again for that. And then we've got the R prime. So for this case with the T and the side lights, we're going to have to use some new notation, which is a smaller R. Um, so for this algorithm we're going to have our T at the right hand side so it looks like this we're going to go little r u r prime u prime little r prime f r f prime now it gets to there and to do that again we're just going to go use this finger here what we need to remember is we bring that down first and then both of them too. So we're going to bring that one first, push this there, and then bring that down to there. What you might want to do, instead of just doing little r prime, it's sometimes easier to do a mixture of little r prime and l prime. So you bring this up to there so they meet each other there. And then reposition your hands so you can go for f like that, r, and then f prime with that finger. And that'll get us to there. And the last case scenario is the bow tie, I like to call it. And so we're going to make sure that we have one light at, on the right. If we hold it like this, it's on the left. We want it on the right and facing towards us. And we're going to do this algorithm. F prime, little r, u, r prime, u prime, little r prime, f, r. And show you again how to do that we're going to hold the cube like this so that it's kind of facing away from us a bit 
so that the F prime looks like a U prime. And we're going to bring the this chunk upwards like that. Use this finger for the U. Bring the R prime down. This finger for the U prime. And then re-grasp the cube so that instead of that's like that. Bring down the R little R prime. So we can use this finger for the F and then move up the R again. And then we have the yellow square. So we're now going to move on to the first lick of PLL. And so you can either have two solid blocks there that look like headlights, or you could not. If you do have solid headlights, you're going to put this on the left hand side. We're going to do this algorithm R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U2, R prime, U prime, R. U, R prime, F prime, and that will get you into the second look. And this is how it looks at speed. And the other case for the first look is that you don't have headlights, so you can hold the cube in any position and go F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime, and that'll get you to the next look. And that speed it looks like this. And now we're on to the second look of PLL, and we only have four algorithms for this. And so the first one is we have three edges that need to be rotated. And this is a clockwise rotation. And so we're going to go R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. And that will get you to the solve cube. And the way you're going to do that is move the R2 like this. So you can U, U there. And then we're going to reshape our hand to there. So you can go R, U. Bring it over to here so we can go R prime U prime R prime U prime. Reposition it so that your finger is on this bit here so that we can bring that through as one solid movement. Now for anti-clockwise, if you see that these pieces need to go in an anti-clockwise rotation, you're going to go R U prime R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R2. And to execute that algorithm, we're going to hold it like this and thumb there, third finger there, put it up like that, use this finger to flick, pull it up again, flick there, pull it up again, flick there, pull it up, move this one here, pull it back down, and then we're going to just flick it, U2, R2, there. Our third scenario is that we have adjacent colours as edges need to be swapped like this. And so we're going to do M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. And that will solve the cube. This at speed, you really need to work on your um, double movements. So we have the U2 using these two fingers. And we have the M2 using these two fingers like that, fourth and third. So it will look like this. Or faster. For the final algorithm, we have it like this. So these two need to swap and those two need to swap. I'm going to hold it so that it is like this with one facing front, one facing to the right. I'm going to go M2, U, M2, U, M prime, U2, M2, U2, M prime, U2. Like that. Similar thing with speed, and it might look like this. It can be a bit fiddly, but that'll be good. And there is your cube solved in every position, so that you have two algorithms to go from F to L to uh, the yellow top, and then two algorithms to go from there to the finish. So in total, you have four algorithms that you need to perform. Anyway, that's the end of my tutorial there. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you next time.